Okay, this is for all the people who are worried. I'm actually walking home back to the hotel now. And it is nine o'clock in the evening. I've had a couple of beers. I've just ordered a Penang curry now. Penang curry is one of my favourites, so I can see if it's any good or if it's any better or just as good as every other Penang curry that I've had. And I've also ordered a Chang beer. Now this is a cold beer. A hundred baht for a draft cold beer at the Buddy Lodge, Irish Bar, Kelsan Road, watching the world go by. And I'm a little bit wobbly, and I've got to walk home 12 minutes. So I'm walking home. In the evening, so I'm just going to show you that there's no problem walking around here in Bangkok at this time of night. There are still plenty of people walking about. Okay, nine o'clock. It's not late, late. But it's still obvious that I've had a couple of beers. And I'm walking around with my phone in my hand and my camera. How many parts of the world could you walk around slightly inebriated with a DJI camera and a telephone in your hand without somebody trying to rob you? I don't know. So I'm 11 minutes and 850 metres away from our hotel. If I want to catch a tuk tuk, there are plenty of tuk tuks here. And then. At the roundabout, take the first exit. They would get you safely home, that's for sure. So, walking around Bangkok, certainly this time of night, isn't a dangerous thing to do. Exit the roundabout. I'm 11 minutes away from home now. So it's easy to, to do, to walk around Bangkok. Many people are scared, they're thinking, big city, big problems. I actually, I know my guy, but I feel much safer walking around here than I would ever do walking around my home country in England, even at this time of night. With your phone and your DJI, camera because there'd be people looking you thinking if I rob, rob you of that then I'm going to make some money it's sad I know but that's the way it is so I'm going to carry on I'm now 700 meters away from home and I don't want to bore you by watching me walk all the way home but I'll switch you back on once I get to the site of our where our hotel is, which isn't too far away. Now taking the advice of Google Maps, this is probably the most darkest street that we've ever walked across from walking across the bridge. Do I feel unsafe? Not at all. I mean look how dark it is down here. Is there anybody to fear? Not at all. And it's pretty dark, but this is the way, this is the way I'm going. And I'm only 450 meters away now from our hotel. Turn left. So as far as feeling safe is concerned, 
feel safer here in Thailand than I ever did in my home country, England. Nice little bar there. Walking down the little little soy. So my DJI camera battery went out. So here I am just walking up that street there and I'm only 150 metres away from the hotel and I'm carrying on walking around with the camera in my hand. No fear, no worries. It's a safe, safe place and probably where you are now. So I'm going to call in 7-Eleven now to get a few little things for my wife and then that's my soy just there and I'll go down there 150 metres away Meow cab 150 metres away from my hotel So here we are coming down my soy where our hotel is <laughs> Just been to 7-Eleven got my wife some drink well, Oishi, she doesn't drink alcohol. And it's just walking distance. So it took me altogether 16 minutes to walk from Kelson Road back to my hotel. And you've seen the alleys and the, the darkness of the streets. Did I fear once? Not a single, not a single time. As I say, you're much, much safer walking here in Thailand. Than, than I ever did back in the UK. So here's my hotel now. <laughs>